Hi there, this is Caitlin Porter from the Mongoose Enablement Team. In today's video, I will showcase some of the custom applications that have been built on the Mongoose framework. First, I will demo a budgeting application, accessed from within the M4OS portal, that gives managers and sales reps a central location to store, approve, and track budgets for the year. The second example I will demo is an inventory management application that can be launched from M4Go and the M4OS portal. This app allows users to use the built-in camera from their mobile device to scan barcode information to add or manage inventory stock on the fly. For the budget tracking application, we were presented with a use case to improve upon an existing budget process that was disorganized, not secure, and time-consuming. The sales team was looking for a solution that would allow the data to be centralized instead of being stored in over 500 different Excel files being transported over email. They needed an application that could not only centralize the data, but needed something more efficient, organized, and secure to replace the current budget approval process. Some of the goals for this application include utilizing a simple grid-based interface that allows for copying and pasting of rows, the ability to add in validation of those budget entries, and the data needed to be secure and there needed to be role-based security to fulfill the different personas. Managers needed hierarchy access, and sales reps needed to be notified when a budget entry was rejected. In this demo, I'm going to demonstrate the two different personas that use this application. The first persona will be a sales rep entering in sales budget information for the year. And the second persona will be a manager that logs into the app to manage the budget entries by approving or rejecting them. These two different personas are defined using IFS, the security roles within Mingle, and the built-in group and row-based security policies within Mongoose. Starting this demo as a sales rep, I'm going to open up the app from the app switcher within Mingle. Once the app opens, I can see a grid-based list of all my budget entries for each of my customers. I'm going to click on the sales budget field to enter in my budget information. This will open a modal window to input the necessary information. Notice once I enter my sales budget, the built-in validation on this field is forcing me to meet the defined budget criteria. Once I correct my sales budget information, I can post the entry. This will change the status to pending for a manager to review. Now, if I switch over to the manager persona, I'll see a list of all of the budget entries for all of the sales reps. As a manager, I now have the permissions to manage the budgets, customers, and sales reps from the ellipsis menu at the top. I also have the ability to export the data set directly to an Excel spreadsheet. As a manager, I need to approve or reject the entry that was previously submitted. I'm going to select the entry that was just submitted and change the status to rejected. This will prompt me asking to confirm and will notify the sales rep by email that their budget entry was rejected. If I switch over to home pages from the app switcher, I have a home page dashboard visible only to managers that presents the data group by status. This gives me a bird's eye view of all of the current budget entries in the application. If I click on the pending gauge, it will open up the same page only this time it will be filtered to only show me pending requests that need review. If I switch back to the sales rep persona, I can see the email notifying me that my entry was rejected. If I click the link, it will take me to the rejected entry. Here I can make adjustments to the entry, and once posted, we'll switch the status back to pending for a manager to review. For this second demo, we have a customer that needed a simple application that would allow them to utilize their mobile device walk around a warehouse, and scan item information into an inventory. Some of the primary goals of this application include being accessible by a tablet or mobile device, allowing the users to walk around a warehouse scanning and managing inventory items. Also needed was the ability to utilize the built-in camera to scan in item barcodes to pull in information. Using that same camera, they wanted to be able to take pictures of the items. Also important was the ability to access a high productivity view of the application from a desktop to manage existing inventory items or to copy and paste item data from Excel spreadsheets. This application can be accessed directly from M4Go on my mobile device. Once loaded, I want to select a site from the drop list on the main menu to filter inventories by site. I'll click the Get Started button to add an item to the inventory. I will use the barcode button to open the barcode scanner. This will use the camera on my mobile device to scan in the item number. After that, I will click on the Add Image button to take a picture of the item. I will finish filling in the item information below, and once complete, I'll click the Save button. This will take me to the Inventory Management page, 
where I can view all of the items in the inventory. Here I have the ability to filter items by bin number, and I can click on an existing item to view or modify its information. The left-hand navigation allows me to easily jump between pages. I can also open this application from the desktop and can be accessed from the app switcher as a standalone application. Once open, I can select a site and manage the inventory from here. This gives me a high productivity view of the inventory. This view allows me to manage multiple items at once, as well as the ability to export or import Excel spreadsheets. Mongoose integrates seamlessly with the M4OS platform, allowing us to utilize things such as M4 Federated Services and home pages, which was demonstrated earlier. The M4OS platform makes it a breeze to integrate, access, and deploy applications in the cloud. With the use of the M4 Mongoose framework, it is easy to rapidly create fully functional applications with no code or very minimal code. Both of the Mongoose applications demoed today were built by one developer in three days with less than 100 lines of code. Well, that concludes today's demonstration. For more information or resources, check out the Mongoose portal at mongoose.m4.com. Thanks for watching.